Hey, welcome to Google Guru. Today I'm going to show you how to make Gmail your default mail to handler if it's not already. This just means that when you click on a hyperlinked email address, a Gmail Compose window will automatically open with that email address already populated for you. You can do this for links that open your email and for links that can add events to your calendar. So if you haven't already made your Gmail account your default mail to handler, when you open your Gmail account in Chrome, look in the address bar, also called the Omnibox, and you'll see this protocol handler. It looks like double diamonds. It's right here. So we'll click on that, and you have several options. I'm gonna click on Use Google Guru Mail. This is going to allow Gmail to open up all email links. So I'll click on Done. You can do the same thing for your calendar, so let's go ahead and open up that. Again, we'll look in the address bar or the Omni box and we'll click on this protocol handler and we'll click on use Google Calendar and then click on done. So if I'm ever on a site with an event that's hyperlinked and I click on it, it's gonna open my Google Calendar. To change or remove your handlers, click on the Chrome menu on the toolbar and select settings. Let's scroll down and click on advanced settings. Under privacy, click on content settings. Scroll down until you see handlers and then click on manage handlers. From here, you can manage your handlers. You can remove them or change them, whatever you want. We'll click on done and that's it. Making your Gmail and calendar your handlers will make for just one click when sending an email or adding an event to your calendar from a web page. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like now that Gmail is your default mail handler. From the Google Guru site, I can click on email the guru and Gmail is automatically opened and the address is already put in there for me. So this is really nice now that I have this set up. I'll show you what it looks like to click on a link and have it open in Google Calendar. So I'll click on this example. And in this instance, the link is asking to share the entire calendar, not a specific event. But anyway, I'll go ahead and click Add to Calendar. And that's how that works for your calendar. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the section below the video or access on Google+. Thanks!